of the room right now. Anyway, that's enough of your sister's heads. On to the next video of your device. What's that going to be? Well, of course, it's me phone. <laughs> I went to my sister's house and I used my phone to record on and I've got it set up on this little tripod here and this video has taken a lot of work to make <laughs> and I'm in the sitting room right now I've got my Stranger Things t-shirt on guys, I've got my Stranger Things t-shirt on and I'm here with a special guest, can you all guess who that special guest is? <laughs> Sky's staying at mine and she's made a cameo in this video. Yeah, I've got a cameo in the video. Hello. Hi. Hello. Ow. I'll just give out a disastrous hug. Yes. <laughs> a very, a very painful hug. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> and I guess that brings one in the next clip. Yeah. Let's go. Hello guys! Oh, can you guess where this is guys? This is where all the magic happens. It's my bedroom where I edit my videos and I've got an energy drink sitting there. I always feature energy drinks in my videos because actually I don't really have a reason. I just like to feature energy drinks randomly in my vlogs. And yeah, I've lost count how many camera screens, how many TV screens, how many phone screens this vlog has went through. It's almost like I'm sort of travelling through time and space right now. <laughs> Luckily, this is the second last screen I'm going through, guys, because if I keep on going, this video will probably take months to make because I can't get carried away and I can ask my other sister to use her TV and then I can ask my uncle if I can use his TV and my auntie if I can use the TV. But yeah, that's going too far. Anyway, we might as well go on to the last screen. Well, last place we're going to in this video. It's been a crazy ride through many screens, but we're on to the final one now, so... Yeah, guys, let's go. On to the last screen. It's me living room screen! Woo! The one and only. And, yes, we're at the last screen, guys, and um, yeah, I think I should probably um, turn that off right now because I'm pulling a stupid face at the camera and it's creeping us out, so I'm going <laughs> to press the button to turn the screen off. Yes, Richard, you can um, go away now. Don't worry, guys, I'm nice to myself in reality. <laughs> and yeah, we're in the sitting room, and there's Simba, he's asleep right now. You sleep, little guy, Oh. He sees, he's a peepee. He's a peepee. He's a peepee. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know how he managed to sleep through all that. I had the TV playing full blast and I was filming in the room, but nothing seemed to distract him from his sleep. I'm not really sure why there's a bottle of gin on the sofa, but yeah, there's a bottle of gin on the sofa. So yeah, guys, that's it. That's the end of this crazy video. We've went through a lot of screens, we've went through a lot of camera lens, but we're here, we're at the end now, and it's been a crazy voyage. It's been random and exciting, and I hope you guys liked this crazy concept of a video I've put together. What can I say? <laughs> I haven't really got much else to say other than thank you for watching, and goodbye everyone! Hello guys! I hope you enjoyed this random little video that I've put together. If you're wondering what gave us the idea to film this completely bonkers and random video, well, I've always been fascinated by, you know, when you stand in front of a mirror and there's a mirror behind you and a mirror in front, and then you see the reflection go all the way back, like, to infinity. 
That's kind of where I got the idea for this video from. I really wanted to see what it would look like to carry a video through multiple cameras and computer screens for two reasons really. One was just pure curiosity. I wanted to see what it would look like from start to finish. And the other reason was to give myself an editing challenge because I know putting loads of camera videos and loads of screens trying to set the tripod up and try to align it with the screen perfectly and all that would be a massive challenge and by god it was. <sighs> I had to set up the tripod pointing to the screens and perfectly align, well as perfectly as possible, I had to align the camera with the screen and it was really difficult because the camera kept going out of focus, I had to stick pencils in front of the little camera screens so the camera had something to focus on and then set manual focus. As you can see by the pictures, I had a lot of crazy tripod setups. I had a lot of light shining on the screen and the one in the garden, but I couldn't do anything about that. But I suppose that adds to the authenticness of the video because every screen's not going to look perfectly clear. When filming my videos, I had to get my timing perfect because just towards the end of the video, when I was just about to zoom out of the screen, I had to open the blinds to let the light in so it would look good on camera. Anyway, we might as well go on to our last screen. Our last place we're going to in this video. <laughs> Here's a comparison from the first shot to the end shot. And you can see the quality from the first time I shot it to the very last screen I shot it through. How it's degraded and it's pretty interesting. Here's a little behind the scenes video I shot at my sister's house. Yes, I did a behind the scenes at my sister's house as well as film there. Let's roll that video. So, right now I'm in my sister's house and I would have never thought I would have vlogged at my sister's house, but here I am, vlogging at my sister's house. <laughs> and right now I'm in her kitchen. The only reason I got the chance to film part of this video in my sister's house is because She's away on holiday and I've came over here to feed a cat. But I thought while I'm here, I might as well film part of the video here as well because I would have never got access to my sister's TV if it wasn't for them going on holiday because my sister's got two kids and they're very noisy and this is a very noisy household most of the time. Don't let that fool you guys though. They're all the canniest bends ever. But for the purpose of filming a video requiring the use of a TV, maybe not so much. <laughs> I think my youngest nephew would much rather be watching Baby Shark than me using the TV to film my stupid videos, but yeah. <laughs> right now I'm on cat feeding duty. I don't know where the cat is right now, but her food's looking a bit low down there, so I'm going to put some new food out for her. Oh, ho, ho. there she is. Ronnie! Hello! Hello, it's just me. Are you expecting your mummy to be here? Oh. Ex oh, you're expecting your mummy to be here. Oh, that's so cute. Oh. oh. You like me though, don't you? You like me, so you're fine with me coming into the house. I'm not a stranger. Roni is actually Simba's sister. If you're wondering why she's called Roni, that's the name my nephew picked for her. Are you missing your mummy? You miss, it's all right. All right. She's a little bit scared because she's been in a house on her own for a few days now. Oh, it's just a, um, it's just a lens cap. It's just a lens cap, Roni. <laughs> Comment below if you think Roni looks like Simba. Do you look like your brother, do you? <laughs> oh, bless her. Is it raining outside? Is it raining? <laughs> Listen to mummy and daddy. Oh, I know, we'll be back tomorrow. We'll be back tomorrow, I know. <laughs> Finally featured uh, Simba's sister on the channel. Oh, bless her. <laughs> you like that, do you? <laughs> yeah, you like that. Simba's sister. Simba's sister's very vocal. <laughs> And she's wandering off right now into the kitchen. 
And now I'm about to film what I came here in the first place for. Well, apart from feeding the cat, and that's to film my sister's TV, so let's go. So, I'm in my sister's living room right now, and I'm trying to work out how to link my phone to a TV. At the moment it's not working, but I might have to pair it. I've got the video as an unlisted video right now, and I'm going to play it through our TV. I've got the video on my sister's screen, it's all ready to go. I've got my phone here, and I've got this phone holder. I haven't used this phone holder since I did the 50 mile walk video. For anyone who's seen that video, you'll remember I bought this phone holder at b and Bargains. I thought it would add more stability in my video since I'm going to be filming it handheld. And yeah, I just need to turn the fire off and we're all good to go. <laughs> if your sister knew what I was doing right now, she would probably be like, Oh my God, what are you doing Richard? What are you doing? I've just casually got my tripod and camera set up in the room. I'm in her house filming a video on her TV using my phone. I never thought I would be doing something as random as this, but yeah, what well, oh. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, there's Roni, wondering what's going on. Just filming a video. I'm just filming a video on my sister's TV. <laughs> well guys, I'm all done and dusted and I think that's a wrap guys. I'm starving and I want my tea and I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna eat some food. <laughs> and yeah guys, the editing was a real challenge as well, like a real challenge. I think the editing's been equally as challenging as the actual filming because I basically had to edit multiple different clips. He has some screenshots. As you can see, I added a few different versions together. I know on the video it looks like one straight filmed thing, and it kind of is. I didn't fake any of it. But I had to adjust a lot of the sound levels because over time the sound degraded so much that it sounded like a really old, cheap walkie talkie from like 1920 or something by the end of the clip. So I had to overlay some of the sound clips from older clips on top of that, just to make it audible, so you guys could at least sort of understand it. I had to stitch some of the footage together because sometimes I had to stop the camera for various reasons, mainly to adjust the camera's focus from manual to auto because I had it on manual when filming a lot of the screens, and I just kind of stitched them videos together. Sometimes I had to take the camera off the tripod because I wanted to switch from tripod to handheld in a lot of shots. And also I edited a couple of shots together like I would a normal vlog. Because if I kept it as one straight thing the whole time it would have far too many mistakes. And videos of me taking the camera off the tripod. I mean you don't really want to watch a clip of me like doing this with a camera. Trying to like get it off the tripod and moving it all over the place when I'm trying to vlog and stuff, so yeah, <laughs> I had to cut that out of the video. Oh my god! And I had to upload each of them on YouTube so I could watch it through various devices, like I would upload it to YouTube and then I would link that YouTube video of my TV downstairs so then I could watch it and my sister's house of course. So yeah, multiple edits, multiple YouTube uploads and a lot of very difficult camera setups that had to focus as much onto the screen as possible. But yeah guys, it's been an absolute joy to film this video and an absolute challenge as well. Oh. <laughs> but I hope you all enjoyed it. So yeah guys, please like this video, comment, tell us what you think of this absolute bonkers idea of a video. I'm sure it won't be the last bonkers idea of a video I do because I do a lot of crazy ideas on this channel. Don't forget to subscribe guys and if you can hit the bell button next to the subscription button because that will notify you of new videos just in case you end up missing one that's coming out. Anyway guys, thank you for watching and goodbye. Yeah. <laughs>
This is going to have a lot of outtakes this video. There's a lot of light in my face so it's absolutely knocking me eyes right now. I wonder if in Hollywood they use like eye numbing drops to put in people's eyes when they're getting lots of light shined on them because I've got a light there and I've got a light from the window and it's really irritating my eyes. I mean my eyes are extra sensitive in my contact lens anyway but I'm just wondering if that's what they do in Hollywood like Especially in like studios that are brightly lit, they, they might have like eye numb and drops for like actors and that. And yeah, that's that's just a random curious question.